So the biggest thing to remember in this competition is that our judge isn't looking at the dogs. Our judge is looking at the handlers. So obviously they're a partnership. And the whole point of the handler is to show the dog to best advantage. So the handler should know how to stack and present their breed so that it looks its very best and they're there in the background. So the dog should be stood four square. Very important that the feet are in line. Jeff just there taking a look at Bichon, a breed that he has handled many times. And then we have the pointer. So this morning, each of these handlers had to show two breeds. So neither of these are their dog. They were allowed to choose the breed and then they are supplied with dogs by very kind um, owners in the UK who bring their dogs to be shown. And it's up to these handlers to go and build a rapport with that dog in a very short amount of time. And that's what the job of a professional handler is. Professional handler is a job you can do. Jeff is one, and you are paid to show the dog to the best advantage for the owner. So our judge, Jeff, is actually judging the handler. So you see the standard poodle there has been free-stood. So it's not stacked where the head and tail are held. Free-standing is when the handler is using some bait to get the dog's attention. You might think yours is perfect. Of course it is. But also our here are so Jeff is a very calm handler himself. He'll be looking for a gentle, understated handler. The way that the handler moves the dog is really important. So as I said, this competition prejudged. So we're now going to find out who's made the shortlist. This competition hasn't taken place for three years because of COVID, obviously travel restrictions. So it's been three years okay. since we've had this competition. Brilliant Step to see forward. it back in the ring here. Denmark. So first up, we have our Danish competitor. This is Sara D'Angelis, showing of a Senji. She's 17 years old. May we now have Finland with a Tibetan Our Finnish competitor. This is Josefina Vutalinen. Josefina with a Tibetan Terra. Next up, it's Ireland. Our Irish competitor. Eva this is Aifa Gary. Showing a Tibetan Spaniel. The fourth shortlist. Our fourth in the shortlist. New Zealand. So making the journey all that more worthwhile Charlie is Charlie Hutos come all the way from New Zealand. She has an Australian Shepherd for this competition. Now, I would like a country beginning with S. That's me, isn't it? Can I have Slovakia, please? From Slovakia, we have Slovakia. Michelle Zemarova with an English Springer Spaniel. And I would also like Slovenia. Slovenia Matiak coming in next. Matiak Krosik. With the pointer. He's 18 years old. Jeff's other choice is Spain. Next into the shortlist, we have Spain. Very popular choice there. This is Ingio Espelia Gea with the Jack Russell Terrier. Final to be I think we're going to get one more in the shortlist. From the United Kingdom. Oh, from the United Kingdom, we have Lauren. This is Lauren Bridges showing a Siberian Husky. Final one in the shortlist today. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. So there we have it. Remaining finalists who haven't made it into this top ten. So the rest of the finalists will leave the ring now. As I said, they've all, it's a massive, massive thing at this age to come all the way to Crufts to compete. So they've all done brilliantly to be here and they are the top junior handlers in their country. So it's now looking like Jeff is going to take a quick look at each of our shortlisted handlers and get them to move again. 
So in, unlike in the breed competition, when we're looking for the coordination of the dog, here what we're looking for is how straight the handle is moving, how tight their corners are, and how they're working with the dog. So we don't want to see a really tight lead. We want to see them encouraging these dogs and really getting them to, to stride out. So this is Sarah D'Angelis. She's 17 years old. Chosen of Asenji to show today. And she's our Danish competitor. Next in, going to move for Jeff, is our Finnish competitor with the Tibetan Terrier. So it looks like she's going to stand first. This is Josefina Vutalinen, another who's 17. Coming to Crofts for the first time. She lives with eight Tibetan Terriers and two large Raptors. Remember, the Tibetan Terrier that she's handling here is one new dog she met this morning. So Jeff here will be looking for the handler to move their dog at the correct pace. It's really important. Obviously, we've got all types and shades and sizes of dog in here. You obviously move a pointer at a very different speed to what you move a Jack Russell at. She'd like to be a psychiatrist when she grows up. Interesting choice, but let's put your hands together for Josefina Voltilainen from Finland. So next coming into the centre, we have our Irish competitor. This is Aoife Gary, who's Here 18. We have the Irish representative, this is Aoife Gary. So all of these She's competitors 18. would have been 17 or under when also they qualified, but some of them are now a little bit older than that. Cross. She's 18, she owns seven so Eva's 18, she's seven dogs at home, and here she's showing a Tibetan Spaniel. This is one of the dogs that she met this morning. So again, there are various patterns that you can ask for in junior handling classes. Jeffy is asking for a straight up and down. But there's also some slightly more exciting patterns shows. the judge can ask Most for. So there's things like a T, uh, an L, a reverse T, a reverse L. Kind of like you'd imagine. You drew them on a piece of paper, but there's lots of hand changes. They're quite complicated. But Jeff here is sticking with the basics and seeing how they perform. Eva Gary. So next into the center with an Australian Shepherd. Keep up this wonderful energy we have Charlie Hutus, who is from New Zealand. Really fantastic for these junior handlers to experience. So Charlie is one who's turned 18 like since qualifying. Nothing else like it. They're coping so well. This is Charlie Hutus from So today New she's Zealand. shown an Australian she's Shepherd 18. and also an English Springer. At home she has eight. You'll notice how neatly the leads are controlled in these classes. It's important to get a sleek performance. The handler will try and keep the lead tucked away, keep it out of sight. Most importantly, never drop it. Lose control of the dog if you drop the lead in a handling class. Her grandmother's hip gave out. We've all been there. So once up and down, and then they're just going round to join on to the end. time at a paint shop. That's Charlie Hutos from New Zealand. So we're halfway through our shortlist now. And we're coming to we our Slovakian Slovakia. finalist. The representative is Michelle Zemirova. This is Michelle Zemirova. She's, she's showing an English Springer here. Again, she's 18. First time, first time coming here to Crofts. At home she has three dogs. American Cock Spaniel. As well as competing, the young people socialize together. Sorry. And some of them will make friends for life in this competition. She's handling an English spring a spaniel today. There are two there UK handlers who have won the overall competition here at Crufts, and both of them in are still involved in showing, so and we well often see them in the group ring. Natural handlers. Michelle Zemirova from Slovakia. So that's Michelle from Slovakia. In handling, it's normal to stack the dog at the end of the run. We don't see that in the breed competitions. Her favourite subjects at school are obviously the Slovak language there go. and biology. There she goes. That's Michelle. Going round to the end to join on. Slovakia. So that's Michelle, our Slovakian finalist. And 
we have the representative from Slovenia. This Next we have our Slovenian competitor, Matiash Karosic. He's showing a pointer and he's 18. So another who's uh, aged a little bit since qualifying. He actually made it into the Crafts International Final back in 2015 as an 11 year old. And he's competed here before when he was just 11 years old. So an old hand now, knows exactly what he's doing. At 18 competing here he chose today. a pointer and a Siberian Husky as his two dogs today. Dogs, mostly spits types actually. So it's interesting that he chose a pointer here today in the final journey. Uh, you'll notice these young people all very there smartly go, presented. Matthias. They'll be trying to wear something that, that complements the dog breeds that they're showing. Pointer. So we can see here that outline of the pointer stands out beautifully against the grey suit. We are very lucky for the help but of But a good handler should never detract from the dog. In fact, we have seven pointers lent by the same owner today and they've all performed superb, performed superbly. There we go, so just stacking the dog and then it's going That's to be to the end. Matthias. So just two more to be seen. Here we have our Spanish competitor, Ingio Espelia Gaya, showing Spain. a Jack Russell Terrier and also showed a miniature wired haired Dachshund. He's 17 years so he's 17 old. Years old. Jack Russell. So you can see so here we mentioned before, it's not a stacked breed. He's using the some treats there. Stand the dog. <laughs> and striding out nicely. So you can't, he's not going to be able to run really fast. He he's just getting the pace just right for that Jack Russell. Like really showing it to best advantage. So you'll see there how he changed hands. Now there's such a thing as a golden rule in handling. The golden rule is that you should not get between the dog and the judge. So the handler should try to keep out of the way. There he goes, that's Spain. Very popular there, our Spanish finalist. So just leaping back round to the end and then we're going to see probably the biggest cheer for the UK representative. So this is Lauren Bridges. She's 16. She's 16. This is her first time competing in the international. At home, she has 25 dogs. She hasn't competed here before, but she he's a very experienced handler. 25 dogs at home. 25. I'm not sure where the and humans live, mom, but they must get in there somewhere. Is very, very keen on dog showing, and she's been in it all her life. She was known as the small one for a very long time, and then she grew very bigger than me by the time she was 10. This so they're Lauren striding out. Bridges. You see the way she's kind of running she's in slow motion, is how I would describe it. She's trying Eastern. to get the pace of her dog right. And she will just bring Saib. You see how the dog's really looking at her? Handling a That's the mark of a brilliant game. handler of a freestanding breed that she doesn't know. That Again, dog doesn't know her. It's fine if they jump up like that. It's how you correct it. Just there we go. Beautifully done. There we go. And off she goes, Lauren join Bridges on the end. The so that's Lauren Bridges from the UK, the last of our eight in the shortlist. So this is really exciting. We've got a lot of finalists in there here for the very first time. We've got a couple that are a little This is bit a huge moment for these young people. Between. First to third, around. going to be pulled out by Jeff. Who has caught his eye? Our judge is ready. The winner of the Joe Cartledge So the winner Memorial of the Joe Cartledge Memorial, Memorial International Junior Handling Competition. It's our Spanish competitor, Ingio Espilagea, 17 years old. Oh, and second place for Lauren from the United Kingdom. So close to being our third overall winner. And then third space, I wasn't even she was quite sure whether she'd won or not then. We have Michelle from Slovakia with the English Springer Spaniel. And in third place, it's Slovakia.
So if you're wow, watching this at home and you're finish. thinking, I'd love to have a go at this, there are a couple All of places you can go. The Young Kennel Club so and the Junior Handling Association. You can find both of them online. Now, can I ask you can find Mrs. more information on getting to into showing. The presentation to our winner. So presentation is going to be made by Liz Cartledge, as I How mentioned, the Spain. wife of well Joe, who this award is now Inigo named after. Espela Gaia. Inigo Espela Gaia. Inigo Espela Well worth the trip from Spain. You're the winner of the Joe Cartledge Memorial International Junior Just 17 years old. <laughs> Doesn't be quite like he can believe. Oh, there we go. Spanish flag in the audience. Who started Junior Handling all these years ago and look where it is now. And now the runner up to the United Kingdom. So in second place, we've got Lauren representing the UK. She has done fantastically. First time in the final. Showing us Iberian well Husky. Done. She's got a few years left ahead of her. And in third place, and in third place we have our Slovakian Michelle competitor, Zemirova. Michelle Zemirova. She's 18 years old, and here she has an English Springer hey, Spaniel. Fantastic achievement for all of these young people.